Hello and welcome. I was asked by uh, by another YouTuber called Vegan Mark to uh, make this video, and he asked me if I had any tips or advice for people wanting to do their first sort of solo wild camp. Now, you know there are basic things that you should do. You know, common sense things such as letting people know where you are, carrying a first aid kit, you know, having the right equipment. But they're kind of basic things, which most people, I would have thought, you know, would think of themselves. I think the, the point he was trying to make was, you know, dealing with being by yourself, you know, the mental side of things. Now, I would suggest breaking it into stages, you know, if you want to get into wild camping, I would go with someone. You know, first time I went, I went with my brother-in-law, so there was two of us, and it's a whole lot of fun. And you can get used to some of the noises and things that you hear in the night. You know, I was here last night and you know I'm by myself and a couple of deer thundered through at one point there was badgers just through that bush um, rutting about and making all sorts of noises you hear foxes um, and foxes are it's a horrible noise you know it sounds like a I don't know it sounds like someone getting murdered so yeah they're, they're, they're just country noises you know and, and you you get used to them but they still set your heart racing when you're by yourself. You know, when them deer burst out and ran past me last night, I bricked it, you know, and uh, had to just sit and calm myself. But, uh, you know, that it's natural. You know, there are, there are moments where noises freak you out in the night. And, um, but, you know, they're, they're things that with with time and experience that you kind of get used to. Once you, you know, if you do your first camp on your own, when you wake up in the morning and you're sitting at this time of day, you know, it's, it's about seven o'clock now, half seven maybe. Um, you know, it's a really nice feeling. So, as I say, I would suggest go with a friend if you've not got much experience. Uh, go with a group of you, um, know where you're going, have permission to be where you're going um, when you're first starting out because that's that's a whole nother worry is you know waking up with someone standing over you demanding to know why you're on their land and go close to home that's something else I'd suggest you know so that if it's not working out for you you can pack up and go there's no shame in it. I've done it myself before. Um, and don't go a million miles from your car. You know, and your first time going on your own, make sure your car is close enough that you can get up and walk to it within an hour. Yeah, first aid kit is important. Having a phone is important. You know, if there's, if there's, if you haven't got a phone or your battery dies, you know, you're really you know, and something bad happens, you're really up against it. I always bring my phone and I always bring a power bank so that my phone doesn't go flat because when it gets cold, you know, your, your phone battery does suffer and uh, you can wake up in the morning and have no power. So having a power bank is another, you know, safety tip I would suggest. But as far as as far as just getting it, getting through the night, again, to start with, I would go in the summertime because it's not dark till nine, ten o'clock, and it's light at you know five o'clock in the morning. So there's minimal time when it's dark. You go in the winter and it's dark at four o'clock, and it, you know it doesn't get light till nearly eight o'clock. That's a long time to be sitting around in the dark by yourself. So summertime is a good starting point and then as far as dealing with the noises 
you know, it's a natural reaction for your, for your adrenaline to start pumping when there's strange noises. <clears throat> there's different ways of dealing with it. You know, I go out with um, a couple of mates sometimes and one of them, you know, he always sleeps with earplugs in and that's not out of fear, it's just the noises bother him, you know, and they, and they wake him up. So he, so he puts earplugs in so that it negates that happening and he still wakes up sometimes I think but but that's a you know that that suits him I don't I don't go with earplugs what I do do is I bring my iPod and I have uh, audio books or a, or a podcast downloaded and when I'm going to sleep that's the time when you get in your sleeping bag and you you know you put your lantern out and you're then laying in the dark that's when noises are amplified you know a rabbit scuttling past in the leaves makes a hell of a racket when it's dark and quiet so for me it's an audio book I just have one earphone in and I listen to it and I doze off and and that's good you know that works for me everybody's different though quite often I camp with my dog um, and that you know creates another kind of you know it's like camping with a friend you know she my dog she um, you know she's pretty good I, I go to sleep and I think she sits up sometimes I, I wake up in the morning sometimes she's just sat up looking around whether she's been asleep I mean she must have but I think you know the minute she wakes up she sits on guard duty and, uh, and she doesn't run off you know she's she's pretty good she knows that we're that we're staying here you know or wherever we are and uh, you know if there was something nasty in the woods she'd be the first one growling and barking you know that's that's another sort of um, that's another help you know if you do have a dog take your dog with you you know if you're gonna be in a tent you can shut yourselves in the tent that's fine and quite often I'll I'll just sleep under a tarp um, I'm in a bivvy from last night but you know my dog when I used to go I used to I had a big long lead I used to strap it to a tree so she couldn't run off but gradually over time you know I realized that she doesn't want to go anywhere when we're camping she, she'll stay with me so I don't bother anymore you know going by yourself you know it probably seems like a big step and, it, and I guess it kind of is for everybody um, you know everybody's got to start somewhere and uh, but but once you've done it once you know and you've woken up in the morning and you've seen that everything is okay um, you know you'll you, that will give you a bit of confidence to do it again you know and you once you do it two or three times you start to really recognize what what animals are making what noise in the night and um, and it stops bothering you so much I think having a campfire helps you know late late at night when you're sitting there just a small fire you know I've got a little fire here I do practice leaving no trace some people argue that a, a fire always leaves a trace but I disagree you know I dig a little pit for my fire I'm sitting here till it's burnt down and then I'm gonna bury it all my excess water goes on it um, so I make sure it's out I mean it's it's wet here anyway we're in we're in the UK so I'm putting wet soil on top of it and then I'll put the leaves back on top of that and you'd be hard pressed to know where I was there are other ways of having a fire you know you can get the little firebox twig stoves so it's sitting up off the ground but I would I would still clear leaves away and have that on the mud but little things like that can be a comfort but I would say, you know, I'd, I say it to my wife sometimes, you know, when we're, you're walking down a dark street or you, you know, you're out in the garden or something and it's dark, sometimes it seems a bit spooky, but it's exactly the same as it is in the daylight, only there's no light. You know, there's nothing different. And, you know, you, you'd have to be very unlucky for someone to stumble on you if you were camping in the woods 
because who goes walking in the woods in the middle of the night? You'd have to be, you'd have to be crazy. Um, so, you know, the mo I always see it, you know, that if I'm out in the woods like this, the most dangerous thing in the woods is me and, you know, having an accident and that sort of thing is, is far, it's a far bigger risk than, than, you know, an axe murderer stumbling on you. You know, and I've got, you know, a knife, an axe and a saw next to me, you know. If you think about it logically, if you were walking through the woods of an evening time and you saw some guy sitting by himself next to a campfire, you'd give him a wide berth, wouldn't you? You wouldn't go walking up to him and say, you know, all right, because you just think, who the hell's that weirdo sitting by the fire in the dark? So uh, I say it's 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 in your head. All the all the things you worry about are in your head. The biggest danger is you tripping over and banging your head, or you know, cutting yourself with your knife. But you can negate those things by, you know, just being a bit careful and carrying a first aid kit and letting people know where you are and having a phone so you can reach people. You know, my wife always knows where I am. I plan, I plan a camp, you know. I've come out here, I'm in, I'm in Hampshire, in the neighboring county to where I live. And, um, but I planned this area, I've drove to this area before and scoped it out. I've showed my wife on the map where it is screenshotted the map, drawn a circle around the woodland, sent it to her and I keep my, you know, my wife can track me as it were through through our phones so she can always find me um, if she doesn't hear from me and we and we speak last thing at night so that I tell her that I'm in, I'm settled, I'm in bed, you know, everything's fine and then in the morning when I wake up I send her a message just to say good morning, let her know I'm okay and uh, it's little things like that, that are just ways of looking after yourself. But uh, yeah, just just enjoy it. You know, it's not it's not as bad as it seems. And you know, the the sense of achievement, the sense of peace in the morning, it's really rewarding. But I would. I would do it in stages. Don't just go stumbling out into the middle of nowhere on your first time because you, you just, you know, you're asking for trouble. So, uh, you know, go with someone, take a dog, plan where you're going, do all the common sense stuff, and then find a way of dealing with the noises, which is one, through getting used to them. But two, you know, whether it's earplugs, whether it's a, an audio book or music or whatever, whatever floats your boat, um, and just, you know, once you've got that first one under your belt and you gain a bit of experience, you'll uh, you'll start to really enjoy yourselves. You know, I love sitting by the campfire of an evening time, and I love waking up in the morning. This is probably one of my favourite times. You know, I've just had my coffee. And I'm just sitting watching the, the embers smolder and then I'm going to pack up and head home. But I love the morning bird song. And you don't get it by, you know, yes you could set your alarm and get up early and go walking in the woods but it's not the same. You know, you wake up lay in your sleeping bag and hear that dawn chorus. It's pretty good. But anyway, that's about all i got to say on it. Um, I hope some of that made sense and that it helps people that are interested in this kind of thing. I'm in no way an expert in any of this. I've got a little bit of experience now, but you know, things have not always worked out for me. You know, I came out in the snow and had accidents and got wet and cold and I had to bail because I was putting myself at risk um, I've been out you know without proper proper equipment and I've got really cold in the night um, 
you know, but these are all things that you that you learn from as you go. But the actual, you know, act of being by yourself, dealing with the noises, that can only come from experience. And as I say, just doing it in little steps is probably the best way to do it. But if you're at the point now where you've where you've been with with mates and you you know you just want to get out by yourself but you're a bit nervous pardon me there's nothing there's nothing to worry about you know just just do the common sense things and you'll be fine and uh, don't forget to enjoy what you're doing because uh, that's the name of the game isn't it having fun all right hope that was helpful I'll see you soon.